As we know, there are uh, migrants uh, coming from Central America who are desperate. They're so desperate for safety that there are, they're still trying to seek asylum in a country that dehumanizes and brutalizes them. Nonetheless, uh, Tommy Lahren has decided to make light of uh, the situation and essentially judge parents who are trying to flee for safety. She tweeted the following, if you traipse your kid 2000 miles in dangerous conditions, you're not only a criminal, you're a crappy parent. Now, uh, the judgment is incredible uh, coming from a person sitting in a position of privilege. Let's keep it real and I'm not just talking about privilege because of how she looks. I'm talking about privilege based on the type of life she gets to enjoy, the very public platform she gets to enjoy, the cushy lifestyle she gets to enjoy. She has no idea what these parents are going through and how much they're risking just to get themselves and their children to safety. And she decides to judge them and call them crappy parents. Well, Chris Evans, who's a very politically active actor, called her out and said, wow, the complete lack of sympathy, respect, and general awareness is astonishing. Also, I would carry my kid through fire if it meant escaping hell. That's how Captain America rolls. Uh, so look, guys, I don't know, man. Sometimes I worry about conservatives. I, you know, talking about lacking sympathy and respect and awareness. Like, does anybody think that they're going to take their kid? Imagine your kid and make them go through a 2,000 mile journey for what? For fun? For adventure? And you know how risky that journey is? You only do that with your kids if you think their life is in imminent danger. If the only option you have is to do this perilous journey, the other option is even worse. Right, so any decent person like Chris Evans, bless his heart for risking his career, etc. I don't think it's much of a risk these days, but um, but you know, until very recently and still to this day to some degree, if you take any political stance as an actor, they're like, oh, it's going to cost us movie tickets. You know, they say liberal Hollywood. No, the writers and the actors, a lot of them are liberal. It's true, right? But the executives are not. The executives only care about the money. Okay. Are we gonna get sell tickets or are we not gonna sell tickets? How much of a profit are we gonna make? Do not alienate conservatives by being too liberal. Now, you could, as a conservative, you could say almost anything you want because they're scared to death of being called liberal Hollywood, so they'll let conservatives say a thousand things, right? So it's still brave of Chris Evans to do it, but he's a megastar, etc. But guys, you don't have to be that to to have some degree of sympathy, etc. But but they don't. It's stunning to me that they don't. Like, how could you not empathize with someone bringing their two year old or four year old, eight year old, etc., and running for their lives? It doesn't it take Captain America or an activist or someone with extraordinary degree of empathy to be able to say, oh my God, I want to look out for those people? I think that it's a very clear strategy to dehumanize and demonize the parents to essentially make excuses for what Trump is doing at the border. To make excuses for the fact that two dozen migrants have died under his watch. You you have to dehumanize them if you're gonna make excuses for Trump. And that's essentially what she's doing here. You know, on one hand, they pretend as if they care about these children, even though six of them have died so far in US custody. And they'll say things like, oh, they're smugglers, they're smugglers. You know, we gotta be careful because these kids are being smuggled in. They don't care about the kids, they don't care about these people's lives. It's abundantly clear. And again, this is a way of dehumanizing them and, and brute, so you can basically brutalize them and say, no, I had to do it. I had to do it because they were bad parents. It's disgusting. So lastly on this, if uh, it, they, I, I totally get that sometimes they don't win their asylum case. In fact, the majority of the time they don't win their asylum cases. And so then they get sent back. And But that should break your heart as you send them back, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and then, but it doesn't. They seem to revel in it. When Tommy Lauren sends tweets like that, she seems to be like, yeah, it's your fault and you're a bad parent, etc. That's what makes you a bad person, not being in, uh, in favor of the policy, but kind of rubbing their face in their horrible situation that they're in. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.